11th and I'm pretty sure I have not been up this early in about a month because we haven't had to go to school. Um, I'm gonna head inside, get my temperature taken and get to work. Yay! Hi. Check in today? Yep. Okay, fever or chills today? Nope. Dry cough, difficulty breathing? Nope. Stomach troubles? Nope. Traveled internationally across state lines? I wish. <laughs> and close contact with any potential sick people? Nope. Okay, let's check you out here. I'm curious how accurate that is. If I was 97 yesterday and 95 today, like granted it's cold out, it's like 30 degrees, but still. If you're a doctor or a nurse or someone who regularly takes the temperature, how much does the outside affect someone's temperature? Comment down below. What a waste of plastic. Lunchtime now. I've done home lines, I've done aphids, I've cashiered, and I am finally working on that horrible jean wall. We'll take a detour over there. I'm hoping for cheese curds today. The store has been really busy and really crazy. We're supposed to get like six to ten inches of snow tomorrow. So everyone's either shopping for their Easter stuff, shopping for their quarantine hoarding, or shopping because they think they're gonna be snowed in for a week. It's April, it's gonna melt in like three days. As you can see, there is work to be done, but let's get some food. Can you make me new cheese curds? Um, I can, but all my bags are going to be used for about 10 minutes, yeah. Uh, it was pretty chilly this morning, and right now it's 63 degrees, so it's pretty crazy that we're going to get a lot of snow tomorrow. A lot of times on Saturdays, uh, if I work a decent shift, AKA in the morning or early-ish afternoon, my boyfriend and I will go to Culver's together. Well, can't really eat in Culver's. You have to only go through drive through because that's the current coronavirus situation. So I'm gonna grab us some food and then take it home and we're gonna eat it. And it's nice enough that I personally will probably eat my food on the patio and probably just hang out there until the sun goes down and it gets chilly. My boyfriend, well, my boyfriend, on the other hand, is in hardcore Zelda mode right now, so he probably will not join me on the patio. He enjoys his weekends a lot. It's not a horrible line. I was watching someone on YouTube that went to In-N-Out, and there was probably 50 cars in line. Now, granted, if Wisconsin had an In-N-Out, I probably would be in that 50-person line because I love In-N-Out, and it's not around here. You really have to travel to get it. Or, like, Stick and Shake. I love Stick and Shake. The flavor of the day is Oreo cheesecake and I got cheese curds. Life is great. I'm just in absolute disbelief that it's gonna be cold enough that it's gonna snow tomorrow. Going from 70 degrees one day. Ooh, spider, ooh, spider, ooh, gross. Get. Going from 70 degrees one day to uh, almost 10 inches of snow the next is exactly what I would expect out of a year like this. 2020, man. Get your stuff together. Are you supposed to be that far out? No. Cheyenne, don't ignore me. Let's see how much snow there is when I go to lunch. I'm craving McDonald's today, so I'm gonna go brave the cold and get some lunch. But getting a little ahead of ourselves, because first we have to go to work and do some work before we have lunch. So let's go get our temperature taken. Okay, it's a little after 11. I'm wearing my Welcome to the Back of the Field shirt, and it has a piccolo on it. Because if you've ever been in marching band and you're a wood one, you're always in the back because nobody cares about you. But anyways, we're going to go grab a nice strawberry milk and I'm thinking powdered donuts today and then we'll check out the snow situation. A little bit of snow, but not a lot. It doesn't look like it's sticking. I'm kind of hoping we only get like four inches. Then it's still plowable snow, but it's not like annoyingly deep snow. All of the front coolers that have drinks in them are filled by vendors like Coke, Pepsi, Starbucks, that sort of thing. Except for this one. This is just like Walmart milks and Walmart teas. And so all that stuff is stored in the back with the rest of the milk. So it's a lot more work to stock it and it 
gets stocked like once a week probably when the store manager notices and complains about it. So one of the front managers has taken to telling me that it's my fault that they have to fill it so much because I have it like all the time. Oh, those are cute. Does that make you feel loved that they give us cupcakes? It's cold and slushy and my toes are really, really wet because it must be like 33 or something about that it's melting and there's lots of water on the ground. Hello car, let's go to McDonald's. It's packy. I remembered to use my code for $2 off. Yay Monica! Saving money, living better. My socks are like still sopping wet. Hurrah! I think probably the best thing about working at Walmart is when you need something, you don't have to make a special trip or when you're looking for an item that's in high demand, like Lysol, Clorox wipes sort of stuff, you just have to hope and pray that by the time you go on your lunch or you're done with your shift that it's still there. So in my case, Clorox wipes by the pole, we had 100 and 100 was enough. Sadly, we did not have my favorite Alfredo noodles, so I'm trying a veggie burger. Now, I'm not a vegetarian, but the other day I was kind of thinking about college and I used to get this veggie burger all the time in college. So I saw one near my vegetable pasta that looked pretty similar, so we're gonna give that a try. Apparently, I must have picked the worst shoes possible to wear to work today, because it's like an indoor swimming pool in my socks right now. Wet, slushy, gross, and wet. Uh, the snow isn't really sticking that much. It's mostly just getting wet and gross. It's 34 degrees right now, so not freezing, but still cold enough that there's snow. I'm really hoping that it just melts and goes away, honestly, because our apartment complex makes us move our cars to plow. If I have to move my car tomorrow, I don't know what I'm gonna do with myself because I have nowhere to go. Usually after it's snowed a lot, I'll go off to Target or TJ Maxx, but I have no reason to go to Target or TJ Maxx. This Corona stuff is just the worst. And I know that's kind of like a privileged thing to say because my life really isn't that horrible right now with the coronavirus. I don't know anyone that's died. I still have a job, two jobs in fact, and no one in my relative friendship, social circle, family has been affected by this. Whereas somebody out there, I'm sure people that you know have been affected. So I don't mean to sound privilege. I'm just saying that it's just my routine that's changed is all. And I'm used to my routine and being able to go shopping and spend my money. And now I can't do that. I mean, it's kind of pretty, I guess. Your task is to fall. So this is Sid Meier's Civilization. I've been playing a ridiculous amount recently. Now with my newfound free time, it's snowing outside, there's nowhere to go. I've already been to work. I don't have any major paperwork that I want to work on. So we're just gonna play video games. So I'm playing as Germany and this is my sixth city. But then these little red guys all over the place, that are, those are barbarians and they're supposed to be like the easy part of the game. And right now they're kicking my butt and also Candy, who is a city state. So they're like my buddy and we're trying together to beat the barbarians, but we're failing. Yes. Is it cold out here? It's a bit chilly, but I thought I'd bring you onto the balcony to see the snow we got. We probably have a couple inches where it drifted. Otherwise, around us, it was about six inches. So like right here? That's probably like two inches. So yes, ending the video right here. I'm gonna go take a shower and get ready for um, a meeting with my paras, even though it's technically a vacation day. Have some waffles and some coffee and make a new video. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this melts fast. Me, me.